Hey everybody, Jam Creates here. Doing another car video, driving and driving on my way home from work. Uh, I figured I'd do just a quick one here. Um, just wanted to talk about something uh, that every now and then pops into my head and, and then like, you know, I kind of forget and I wanted to make a video about this for a while. Um, and it really just boils down to this. Uh, I'll get into it. And you know what? <clears throat> I'll do this up front. Uh, if you like this channel, and if you like, end up liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and join the fun. Uh, I, like people can tell you, uh, I like to answer all the comments. I like having a discussion. I like having a good time. Uh, I like having fun. So anyway, with that being said, I wanted to talk about something that I, I feel like I just wanted to talk about this for, I've wanted to talk about this for a while. And that is art styles. Um, I've talked a little bit about it in the past, about certain styles not fitting, certain stories and things of that nature. I've talked about that before. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about now was, I feel like uh, if you look at mainstream comics, and by that, of course, I mean the big two, um, an image, even, like, where are, like the guys who are really pushing the envelope. Guys and girls. When I say guys, I mean everybody. Um, just let's, you know, let's not get all worked up into a tizzy about that. Uh, when I say guys, I mean everybody. Why aren't there more artists who, like, in these big companies who are doing, like, crazy stuff and you look at it and go, whoa, you know, it really makes you stand up and notice. Um, it's just kind of weird to me. I don't, I don't quite understand what happened because I remember as a kid that was what made you notice was these these artists who did crazy things you know McFarlane drawing the spider the, the eyes on Spider-Man's mask bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger um, and drawing just legs in all kinds of crazy positions and tons of webbing and, and just all kinds of crazy stuff like you know where's where's you know Sam Keith look at the max like where's like the weird the weird ass style that that was like where like where is this stuff you just don't really see it anymore it's a lot of bland boring stuff from the the big two a lot of it you know I, I will I will say I think DC's art is probably better is better than Marvel's at this point in time um but DC tends to all look the same they've always tended to kind of have that house style and they all kind of look the same whereas Marvel in the day back in the day used to, to to have you know varied very varied different style of artists and even the same artist might have different styles you know John Romita Jr. remember when everything was kind of boxy and, and stuff like you know and then there was you know of course you had like the breakouts of Liefeld and Jim Lee and um, Tom McFarlane and Mark Silvestri and and all these other guys who all had different, you know, we, we kind of just, we tend to lump them all together as just 90s style, but they all had different, very different styles. Um, you know, Liefeld has had his extreme shoulder pads and tiny little feet and, and Jim Lee had his super clean lines and super clear anatomy and, you know, um, and McFarlane had more of a, a cartoony look to his stuff. And, and then, you know, even later after that, you know, you had the Cuberts and, and their art style. I mean, I had that Sabretooth t-shirt. Uh, you know the one. The one where he had the... When he was being held captive in the mansion and he had the, the Hannibal Lecter mask and the, the steel gloves on. Um, I had a, a black t-shirt with that Adam Q... I think it was Adam... Was it Adam or Andy? I forget now which one it was. But it was one of the, the Cuberts and had, like, that amazing picture of Sabretooth just all, like huge looking with the, the mask on and he just looks scary as hell. Uh, I loved that, that, I just loved that design. I loved that art. Um, and I had that t-shirt and I used to wear that thing until it fell apart. Um, but like, where is, where is that? Like, where's the Joe Mad? Like, okay, I'm going to do this crazy anime influenced style of art that's not pure anime, but it's not pure Western style either. It's this crazy hybrid and it's got tons of energy and just wild and Wolverine's going to be like three feet tall and four feet wide you know like 
the thing was, you, you could read those and you would see those and they would grab your attention and you would look at it and you would read it and it never took away from your enjoyment of the story. You know, that's the thing. Like, I, I feel like nowadays, first of all, I mean, if we, if we want to get into nowadays and how just comic books in general, honestly, especially from Marvel, are just boring, there's very little action and it's mostly just talking, 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 and it, you know, generally builds up to a lecture. Most fights are over in one punch. It's a lot of nonsense, and honestly, the art is incredibly underwhelming. There's no dynamic anything to what they do, and the covers are all pinups, and that's another thing. Like, the covers don't tell you anything about what's happening in the story, and that used to be part of it. I remember, you know, I remember this one Spider-Man. It was a don't remember I don't I'm pretty sure it wasn't Amazing Spider-Man I'm pretty sure it was one of the other books but I don't remember which one um where it had the Punisher on the cover and he's holding a gun to Peter Parker's head and he's like I know your secret Parker like there's literally a word balloon on the cover which they never do now and he's literally you know he's pointing a gun at Peter Parker's head and it's basically just like I think it was like a yellow background or whatever whatever it was I don't remember exactly now but like I remember reading, seeing that cover and being like, oh, snap, I got to see what this is all about. Because the story that it was telling on the cover made you want to read the story inside. And you don't get that anymore. Every cover is basically just a portfolio piece at this point. Um, And some of them are pretty, but like, I don't know. It's just very odd. I feel like the the comic book, the mainstream comic book publishers have kind of lost the plot on how to make comic books. Um, and the things that make comic books special. And so my point being, when I'm talking about art styles, and, you know, because that's really what I wanted to talk about, you know, where do you see people pushing the envelope and taking chances and all different varying styles of art that very wildly, you see it in the independent space, in the crowdfunding space. You see it in Alterna Comics when you see their books. Something like Blood Realm doesn't look like any other comic on the market. Uh, something like, for example, Psycho KO doesn't look like anything else on the market. It looks like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. Something like um, Feast or Famine has beautiful artwork. Um, and again, looks different from everything else you see out there. And that's the, that's the beauty. Like Unit 44 reminds me of like... A cartoon, but not like a Saturday morning cartoon, reminds me of like almost, you know, something you would see like the Men in Black cartoon, maybe, if you remember that, or something along those lines, you know. And then there's Midnight Mystery, which is straight out of Batman the Animated Series with its style. So many different styles, all telling different stories, and every one of them works. And that's like one of the things I like about Alterna is that I get to see these really cool artists trying things in their own way, telling stories in their own way. And this is another reason why I like these comic skate books is you see art that just doesn't look anything like anything else, you know? Mike S. Miller's art on Lone Star is super duper clean. Uh, That guy is basically like a machine when it comes to drawing. Like, his lines are so straight. It's so clean, you know? Ethan Van Sciver, his art is just ridiculous ridiculous amounts of detail like just totally crazy amounts of detail and I look at that and I and I think to myself you know not a lot of artists can do what they do but then again then you look at someone else like say Andrew Huerta who's working on Sovereign which is on Indiegogo and his art is clearly like manga inspired or anime inspired and just is crazy looking it is insane looking and it has such energy it is ridiculous. It jumps off the page. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, just totally different styles. You know, Doug Tenapel, Bigfoot Bill, he's got that crazy, you know, animation, you know, inspired style that he has, you know. And again, that doesn't look anything like anything else. And that's what's cool. That's what, to me, that's what makes comic books amazing is seeing different artists with completely unique styles doing different things, you know, and, and look at like, um, you know, some, just to throw some other artists I know are working on some stuff. Um, and I don't know all the campaigns necessarily, uh, but, uh, Alejandro, oh gosh, I forgot his last name. Uh, he's working on Long Harbor. His art is crazy good and it's so cool and so different. 
you know that's the thing like it doesn't all look the same you know and that's the beauty to me one of the things that make comic books so incredible is you can have this wide range of or dare I say diversity of art styles and in this case the diversity really is our strength because it makes these things look absolutely incredible because you see so many different styles and ways of telling a story visually. It's it's just so cool, you know? That's one of the things, like, when I look at manga, and I do enjoy manga, I read manga, but a lot of it does look very similar. You know, the lot of, there's there tends to be, like, one or two different styles, and they tend to, to look the same. Uh, I know, obviously, there are outliers, um, but it's nice when I see things that look different. You know, and that's what I really enjoy about the Western style of comic books, or I always did enjoy about Western, you know, a co- style of comics, is that you got all these crazy different styles. And that, to me, is just something that is so lacking in what the big two are putting out right now. Like, Marvel, it just, everything looks like a pamphlet. Like, it's terrible art. Like, it looks like something you'd see on, like, a flyer for, like, a local supermarket or something. Like, it's just bad and boring and bland and the stories ironically fit that because the stories are bad and boring and bland then you get things from like alterna comics where you get these crazy stories and things that you've never seen before and 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 or even things that are maybe similar to something you've seen before and the art style that fits it like and then from the Comics Gate guys, you see so many different styles. You know, you've got the, like I said, you've got the, the, the Mike S. Miller, like, just look at, he posted some pages from the new Lone Star where uh, Lone Star crashes a motorcycle through like a, a window of a bank or a store or whatever it is. And my God, that motorcycle just looks like, it doesn't even look like someone drew it. It looks like and I don't mean this as a negative thing because I know he did draw it because you could I'm sure you could probably find video somewhere of him doing it he is so precise he's like a machine when it comes to drawing a machine like a motorcycle it's insane I could never do that I don't have the patience or the skill um, to draw a motorcycle like that could I draw a convincing scene of a motorcycle crashing through a window that would you know still be exciting to look at yeah I could do that it wouldn't look anything like Mike Miller's um, because like I said Mike is insanely detailed and like a perfectionist when it comes to that stuff Um, just such clean 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 lines and everything Uh, mine wouldn't look like that but I could probably draw something with some energy and would be fun and would still get the point across Um, same thing like could I draw what Ethan does no of course not there's no way I could do what Ethan does. I haven't had been in the business for 26 years drawing that crazy, insane amount of detail and stuff. And that's what I love. Like, you've got those guys who are doing that, and then you've got other people doing completely different style of work, and it all is beautiful. It's just beautiful in different ways, and that's what comic books should be. I remember as a kid arguing that comic books were art because there were so many different ways of expressing things and telling stories. And now the mainstream comic books just look boring and flat. But when you see the indie stuff and you see Comic Skate and you see this, there's just so much energy and excitement even in the books themselves. And that's like, that's a beautiful thing. And that's what comic books should be. So that's just my little rant about art styles in modern comics. And um, if you agree with me, awesome. If you don't, awesome. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, if you want to point out some others and, and send me their way, I would love to find out about some more really cool artists. Um, definitely let me know. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to check out more really cool artists. I could not afford to spend even more money on crowdfunded comics. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. If you enjoy the video, please let me know. Hit the thumbs up. Tell everybody about it. Share it with your friends. Like, I think that would be super cool. Um, The more the merrier, you know. If you're not subscribed, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please jump on in. Subscribe. The the water's warm. uh, And not because we peed in the pool. Um, 
Anyway, that was really bad. Remember that old sign they used people used to hang and they thought it was so clever? Welcome to my ool. Notice there's no P in it. Let's keep it that way. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just losing my mind at this point. So I'm going to say goodbye and, um, you know, hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe, like, follow me on Twitter at jam underscore creates. Follow me on Instagram. I'm on the gram. Uh, that's at jam underscore creates as well over there too. Um, I'm on Mines. My videos should be getting mirrored on BitChute, although I noticed the last few didn't get mirrored up there for some strange reason. Every once in a while, it seems like BitChute does that. Uh, it must be some kind of hiccup. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out.